Hello and welcome to the Stuff.TV vidcast. Here's what's coming up on this week's show. We've got another Versus for you and this week it's bridge cameras, specifically the Canon G12 and the Nikon P7000. Okay, so I've got the Nikon P7000, which sports the style of a traditional rangefinder without actually being retro. It's not quite compact either, but it is a lot smaller and more portable than an SLR or system camera. A major bonus for the Nikon is its wider range and 7.1 times optical zoom, compared to the less impressive 5 times zoom the G12 is offering. Along with full manual control and raw capture, the P7000 offers the usual shooting modes you'd expect to find on a consumer camera. There's also a variety of tweaks to help you get the best out of your pictures, including blink warning, red eye reduction and the ability to take black and white or sepia images. HD video has been thrown in on top as well. Design-wise, the cameras in Canon's G-Series range all look pretty similar, so it's no surprise that this one looks almost identical to the G11, with the exception of this front-mounted jog dial. We like the G11 a lot, and the G12 inherits most of its features, such as 10 megapixel sensor and 5 times optical zoom. But it had some drawbacks, notably the lack of HD video recording, which the G12 has managed to squeeze in. It offers several of the same features as the P7000, such as uncompressed raw images, red eye reduction, black and white and sepia shooting, as well as a selection of other colour effects. It also offers high dynamic range mode that takes three shots in quick succession, combining them into one more detailed image. And its shooting modes include fisheye effect, underwater mode, as well as wink and smile self-timer. Image quality is typical of Nikon, so very detailed with colours that are oversaturated to make things look bouncier than they really are, which isn't such a bad thing. Noise is more noticeable above ISO 800 than on the G12, but flash shots are much more natural. The ergonomics are a bit of a fail though. The exposure compensation dial on the right is too easy to knock without noticing, and the functions dial is also pretty fiddly. But the 7.1 times optical zoom is amazing. Plus, the big high-res LCD screen at the back is gorgeous. The G12 produces realistic images with accurate colours and superb detail, and even at ISO 1600 produces very little picture noise. Being slightly chubbier than the P7000 works to the G12's advantage, thanks to a chunky grip that's easier to hold. The optical viewfinder, which is almost identical to the P7000, and this dedicated ISO dart are brilliant, while the tiltable LCD screen is really handy. The electronic level helps you keep your shot straight, and the autofocus is just that touch quicker than the P7000s. So, both cameras are high-end, top-of-the-line compact rangefinders for photographers wanting manual control, but in smaller form. And give or take a few features, they're practically identical. And they're both supremely capable cameras, but the G12 just edges out the P7000 in all of the areas that really count, like better picture quality, a tilting LCD screen, and a wide range of assisting features to really help you get the most out of your shooting. And that's why it's our winner. <laughs>